I quite like sleeper cars. Did Alex ever tell you the story of what we got up to in Colorado? There was this sleeper car competition, you see. Let's just say no one was ready for the sunbeam. Lotus never quite let go of the upgrade game. So in addition to building their own supercars, they upgraded cars from other marks too. The Lotus Carlton was one such aftermarket upgrade. Lotus took a respectable four-door Vauxhall saloon and turned it into a supercar. From the outside, there are a few signs that this is something special. Wider wheel arches, that sort of thing. But under the bonnet, that's where the magic starts. Engine capacity was increased to 3.6 litres and twin Garrett T25 turbochargers were added. The engine block was reinforced and new crankshafts were forged by Opel and machined in Germany. At the roundabout, take the third exit. The tyres were widened and the tyre compound from the Lotus Esprit was used. To handle camber change issues, they put in the self-leveling suspension from the Opel Senator. The only upgrade they didn't put in was an electronic speed limiter. All of this resulted in the Lotus Carlton, designated Type 104 by Lotus. A 177 miles per hour supercar, masquerading as a four-door saloon. Only 950 of these custom gems were built, and they've become something of a modern classic. The Lotus Carlton was an example of how to turn a saloon into a supercar, but that's not the only thing Lotus got up to. In 1979, Chrysler approached Lotus to create a strict rally version of their Sunbeam three-door hatchback. Lotus, as you might imagine, rather enjoyed the challenge. They took the rear-wheel drive hatchback and changed everything that matters. They stiffened the suspension, improved the anti-roll bars and widened the transmission tunnel. was increased by fitting a 2.2 litre version of the Lotus 911 slant four-cylinder engine, resulting in an impressive 250 brake horsepower, up from a meagre 105 on the original. The Lotus Sunbeam was revealed to the public in 1979 in Geneva to widespread praise in the motoring media. makes you wonder if Lotus should do more conversion. It's a silly question, actually. Lotus should do more conversions. In fact, I'll call them right now. <laughs> 